uh, we we tested two two test cases get game info check games check tournament tournaments so these two test cases i executed now i am going to adding one more test case check game is cricket okay so this is my another test case another test case now here i i am going to doing whether in the response am i getting cricket or not so that is my intention so uh, for this i am sending the request so this is my request and i am getting the response okay so here if you see if you see here manually if you see here cricket is there so this manually we can know that okay cricket is there okay but we need a uh, as a a uh, tool we have to check whether cricket is there or not manually we are identifying that okay cricket is there now i have to check whether uh, as a, a true tool whether uh, cricket is there or not so in order to do such things on the response we are going to doing some assertions so assertion is nothing but validation so whether the given output is uh, uh we are getting as per expected or not so assertion assertions are validation messages the values of assertion is um uh two two values it will return true or false if if the condition is true your assertion is true so if condition is false then uh, your assertion is false so that is how uh, assertions um Uh, assertions uh, we we will work with assertion so there are different types of assertions we have uh, so in order to add assertion in the response okay we can add it so see this is the place we add assertion to this item so i get the response now i am going to doing i am going to adding assertion for my responses so that assertion is i can there are different types of assertions uh, property content and compliance uh, status standards status standards script and uh, sla jms security so we can add assertions in this categories now i am going to checking property content so this property content property content um, property content there are again four different types of assertions contains not contains x path x query path i can choose anything and i can do assertion so let's see uh, contains i am going to doing uh, i am going to adding uh, um, uh, assertion for my responses so contains so it is giving some cricket so ignore case regular expression okay so now click okay assertions yes valid means what this assertion did is it it checks the response whether response contains cricket or not that is one of my assertion i applied for my response and i am adding one more assertion so property content not contains so this not contains is another assertion it is telling that if it is true when i am give whatever data i am giving that is not exist in the response okay so contains so in the resp see here i am doing va validation on response i am doing response validation remember so i am i am doing response validation so in order to do response validation we need to add assertions so in the assertions it will uh, these assertions will apply on responses okay so if i use contains assertion what it will do is this contains it will checks the response whether the given input whatever i am giving that is 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 exist in the response or not that is what it is going to doing so contains is doing whatever i am giving so that is exist in the response or not that is the that is the uh, that functionality that assertion this contents is going going to doing so now 
not contains so not contains is another assertion which will it, which will tell which will execute the assertion on response on, response only so all these assertions we are applying on response so contains this assertion will execute on response whether the given input is exist in the response or not is contained or not not contains this assertion will apply or executes on the response whether the the given input is not exist in, exist or not so now i am adding add contains assertion so uh, i am giving some content like some usa so ignore case comparison so i, I don't in the game info uh, in the game info uh, i don't want to display countries information so that is what my intention so that's why uh, i am checking whether usa uh, is exist or not okay so that is my one more assertion okay so that assertion i am doing yes not contains also valid so contains is valid not contains also valid see for these two i didn't run i didn't run like this uh, however we are uh, executing these services using this button i am not executing these things using that okay so these assertions when i added automatically it is executing at the responses so separately i am not executing the assertions so when i added the assertion that assertions is automatically performing on responses okay so this contains it is once i added contains assertion that is ex executed that is applied on the response whether uh, as per the uh, as per the contains assertion so if you see the contains assertion so it is checking that the content cricket is exist in the response or not in the same way if i not contains assertion if you see usa so usa is exist uh, in the response or not so that is how it is doing assertion now suppose uh, here instead of usa if i specify like uh, cricket so cricket is there in response so that's why this not contain assertion it will throw an error see not contains failed not contains failed because the this assertion this assertion cricket is exist in the response that's why it is throwing error okay so but what we have to do not contains should should not contains assertion should not contain the content okay so that is how it will uh, executes the assertion so i am giving usa once i click okay assertions yes now it is valid so these two assertions i uh, added so these two is valid now i am going to adding one more assertion so that assertion is export match ex export match okay so export we will discuss now so what is export so export means xml path okay so xml is a tree structured data representation so the data in xml in the form of tree structure okay so let's see so our data like uh, if you see here this is our data how the data looks like first root tag is envelope so this is my root tag so this is yes colon envelope so this is my root tag now i have body so this is my child tag this is my child tag this is yes colon body now it contain one more tag ns2 get game info so this is another tag 
So this is child for yes body. So this is another tag. So this is child for young body. Now I have written tag for for game info response. I have two written tags. Okay, so here I have two written tags, two child returns. This is return one. This is return two. So this is return, and this is return. Okay, now it contain game ID. Return contain child tag game ID. So. This is. It contain two two childs. So one is game ID and another one is game name. Okay. So game ID and game name. So these two child IDs I have for my return. So game ID is having one more child, hundred. So this is actual value. So game ID is having. Value hundred, hundred. That is child for game ID, and for game name, I have one more child ID. That name is some cricket. So this is another child ID. So same thing, same thing for this written also. So this is. So this game ID is two uh, hundred, and this game ID is game name is some badminton. So this game ID is two hundred, and this is. Badminton. Badminton. So this is how the XML structure looks like. Okay. So at end row, end nodes is contain the da actual data, and between this we have some tags. Okay. Now we are going to doing some XPath. So XPath means XML path. Now I want to get the cricket. How do how so how I can get it? So from root tag to this is my root tag. S colon envelope from S colon envelope to S colon body from S colon body to comma N S two colon 
get game info response slash return slash game name so this is the x path i have to use to get the cricket so this is the x path i have to use for get the cricket in the same way okay sorry return of 1 there are two returns from return of 1 game name and cricket so for getting the badminton i have to use in the same way but return to so if i use return to slash game name i will get the badminton so this is my x path i have to use for get the badminton in the same way if i want to get game id for 200 200 i want to get then i will use slash game name slash game id so this is how i will get the game uh, game id 200 uh, using x path okay so in the same way for first one if i want to get the game 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 id i will get the 100 so this is how i have four x path x path to fetch this information so this, uh, this so now i am going to using this uh, x path assertion for validate my response okay so whether as per this x path am i am i getting data or not so now let's see i am creating one more assertion so that assertion x path match so this x path match in first in the first place i am using declare so this declare will give the name spaces next one is i am going to adding x path so this is my x path and it should contain so for first one game name is cricket so ignore namespace prefix okay so this is my one of the assertion for uh, using x path save fail it is failing so what is the exception x path syntax syntax at character 12 online prefix s not been declared okay so what i will do is sorry so this is my assertion and i will use caps let caps yes and i have to use caps letter yes but i use small letter now i am saving now again i am getting error so as a, the path declare namespace yes declare namespace ns2 missing content for x path so for this content is missing it is showing let me see let me see game name oh wildcard ignore namespace prefix xml comments still i am getting error and maybe the the x path i got is maybe wrong i mean the x path on x path we will get like this only but we have a tool firebug tool using firebug tool we can get the uh, x path exact x path so i will use firebug tool uh, to fetch the x path now that x path i am going to adding because manually i read the x path so maybe that is how we are not getting the x path now i use i am using um, a firebug tool to get the x path yes so this is the x path okay so game return to 
not written it should be written one save so okay expo syntax at character level should be declared okay so we have to declare this name spaces now click save yes now we export this match because maybe the export i i type manually so maybe that is uh, i didn't type properly so maybe that is the problem i am getting uh, uh, export invalid now i got the export valid export now this assertion also success so green color is showing so export is valid so i am checking that in the response of a particular export my data is exist or not if you see here so on particular export on particular export my expected results cricket so assertion i am doing assertion using export on this particular export cricket is exist or not if cricket is exist then my assertion is success okay so it is success now i will use another uh, same assertion for uh, to match all the ex exports so whether uh, so in the return 1 uh, i am getting uh, cricket and in uh, return 2 am i getting badminton or not so that is my one more assertion okay so i will use this assertion so this assertion name export uh, this names we can give like badminton match so this is badminton match badminton matching so match 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 the uh, match the badminton in the response or not so for this exp so this is the uh, export dict uh, name spaces now for badminton so this is the badminton place and i need to get the Uh, export like this so this is the firebug tool so using firebug tool we get, get we get the export easily so i am using that one so uh, this is my export and that place the result should be badminton now click save so badminton match yes it is valid so for this i am giving uh, name is so here i am there is no mm, okay so here contains a valid so meaningful names i didn't given but uh, see this is the meaningful name badminton match is uh, meaningful name so this assertion is telling it will check the badminton is there in the response or not okay so for this i am using export in the same way i am adding one more assertion like uh, the export match that name is uh, game id game id 100 100 exists so this is my another assertion so that assertion i am uh, applying through export so game id 100 i am using export so so i am inspecting this this is 100 and okay so this is uh, 100 so i will copy the export of this and i will place here and it is 100 click save yes so this is also exists so this assertion also it is valid okay 